Video Cartooner, we're going to make five different settings. Check out the top left. This is close you to original. No warrior. I will kill Traldix. No, you will not. I will. You're no wounded. Way. I want the first shot. Look at you two bozos. You'd kill each other before you got anywhere near Traldix. He's right. He's got to do it. Bottom left is almost default settings. Bottom middle, closer to cartoon. The other two, we're just messing with the settings to see what we can, what kind of results we can get. I'm going to fire up Video Cartooner. All updates are free. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and open the small clip from Farscape. Video Cartooner is going to run through the video a couple times to analyze it. When the clips have finished being analyzed, I'm going to go ahead and close these windows. And make sure at the Save As settings you click Cartoon. Now in the Cartoon tab, I'm going to change the settings just a little bit. In the Quality, I'm going to change this to about 33,000. This is the bit rate at which you can stream the video. In the Cartoon settings, I'm going to set it 83. So over here where I imported my file, I'm just going to change this to 83 so I know which output file I'm looking for. And click Make Cartoon, or you can click Command and Convert Now. This takes about two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and zip through this, time lapse it. I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this window down. Now we've got a message that says your shockwave file is going to be fairly large. I'm just going to click don't show me again and continue. Now here's what it looks like. It's, it's fairly close to the original movie settings with a little bit of vectorizing. Let's go ahead and change the cartoon settings a little bit. Let's drop it down to, let's say, 1. Now, if I hit the test window, you can see the original and the output. So I'm going to go back to file. I'm going to go ahead and change this name from 83. And I'm just going to change it to 1 and make cartoon. This takes a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse through it. And up at the top left, you can see there's hardly any kind of detail at all. So let's go ahead and make another one, but we'll change the settings a little bit. I'm going to go back into the cartoon settings. And I want it to look a little closer to real, but I still want it to look like a cartoon. I'm going to set this at 100. And in the size and quality, I'm going to change the cartoon settings to 100. The clean settings to 100. And we're going to set the streaming speed at about 4,000 something Somewhere in the 4,000s. This is going to be a whole lot cleaner than the top left. I'm going to change this file name to... Cleaner. Command, convert now. It's going to take a couple minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and time lapse through this so we don't have to watch the conversion process. Alright, here's our new cartooned video. It's got some fairly decent detail in it. You can tell what's going on, but it still looks a bit cartoony. It looks more like it was vector drawn. It's 
So if you play with the settings a little bit, you can see the different types of outcomes you can get. The top left's pretty close to the original. The top right, a little less detail. Bottom left, there's hardly any kind of detail. And of course, if you change the size of the output window, you're gonna get varied results. But this is just basically what you can do with Video Cartooner.